budgets, invoices, and just about anything else you can imagine. When you open Excel, there's a good chance you'll be taken to the Start screen first. From here, you can access recent workbooks or create something new, either from scratch or from a template. In this example, we'll click Blank Workbook. Next, you might want to take a minute to explore the interface to make sure you know your way around. Let's begin with the ribbon, which is the collection of tools and features at the top of the screen. The ribbon is divided into tabs like Page Layout, Insert, and Home, so you can easily find what you're looking for. There are also commands on each tab that have been organized into groups. For example, if you look closely at the font group, you'll find it has everything you need to work with text, including options like bold, italics, font color, and size. Some groups even have an arrow in the bottom right corner that you can click to view even more commands. If you ever feel like the ribbon is taking up too much space, you can always hide it or minimize it. All you have to do is click the arrow in the upper right corner. Then choose the option you want. Also in the upper right corner is a place where you can access your Microsoft account. Here you can update your photo, manage your account settings, or switch to a different account altogether. You can even customize your copy of Excel to make certain commands more convenient. Take the Quick Access toolbar in the upper left corner. This area gives you access to frequently used commands like Save and Undo, no matter where you are on the ribbon. To add more commands, just click the tiny arrow next to the toolbar, then choose the ones you want. I'm going to add New and also Quick Print because I use both of these commands pretty frequently. In Excel 2016, you'll also find a new feature called Tell Me. It works like a search bar to help you quickly find tools or commands you want to use. Just type in what you want to do in your own words. The results will give you a few options and then guide you through the process as well as offering additional resources. Now let's take a look at the workbook itself, which is also sometimes referred to as a worksheet or a spreadsheet. In this example, I've opened an order list that I'm working on. Every worksheet contains cells, columns, and rows for entering data, plus the formula bar for working with your data. If you need to scroll up or down or even side to side, you can use the scroll bars here and here. In the bottom right corner, you'll find several tools that will help you change the way your worksheet is displayed. To zoom in or out, click and drag the zoom control. The number next to the slider will tell you what the zoom percentage is. You can also switch between different worksheet views using the three commands here. Normal is selected by default. This mode is great for everyday tasks like entering and editing data. Page layout shows you what the worksheet will look like on the printed page. You can also add headers and footers here. Page break preview makes it easy to change the location of page breaks in your workbook. This can be especially useful if you're printing lots of data. Last but not least, let's take a quick tour of the Backstage view. You can get here by clicking the File tab. Just look for it on the far left of the ribbon. Here, you can access all kinds of information related to your current workbook and more. This includes commands like New, Open, Save, and Print. All you have to do is click an item, and it will open in the right pane. This makes it easy to find what you're looking for and review your options all in one place. That covers the basics of Excel 2016. Now that you're more comfortable with the interface, including the backstage view, the ribbon, and the work area, you're ready to start your first worksheet.